Hey guys, so we're living in some pretty stressful times with the coronavirus, but there are some measurements that you can take for yourself and your family to keep yourself safe. So I thought we would just go over some of those measures that are, the CDC has put out and just to make sure that you feel fully equipped to be able to take care of yourself. Wash your hands often. So the re recommendation is to wash your hands often and thoroughly for at least 20 seconds with warm soapy water. Now, I know what you're thinking. If it takes 20 seconds to kill germs on your hands, then it probably also takes 20 seconds to kill germs anywhere on your body. So not only should you wash your hands for 20 seconds, but wait, no. What would happen if you washed everything for 20 seconds? Well, that would be weird. And you might be dehydrated. What are you doing in there? Leave me alone, I'm killing germs. But make sure you wash your hands for 20 seconds, thoroughly and often. Number two, coughing into your elbow. Listen, let's face it, if you're out in public, and you probably shouldn't be right now, but if you're out in public and you cough into your elbow, you know you're gonna scare people. They're all gonna think, he's got the virus. But if you can hide your cough with something that's socially acceptable and still cough into your elbow, if you can do the dab, <coughs> then you're gonna replace everyone's fear with, oh, that guy's really cool, he just did the dab. And they will no longer be afraid that you've got the virus. So, when you're out in public, if you cough, do the dab. <coughs> Don't touch your face. Listen, I know the only reason we have hands is to touch our face. But given these uncertain times of not knowing where our hands have been, now we have the perfect opportunity to make a mind-muscle connection inside of our face. If your face itches, let's say your eyes itch, maybe you can scratch them by trying to move them everywhere underneath your eyelids. Or let's say your nose itches, maybe you can learn to move your nose. Or maybe it's a cheek. Or Am I winking at you or am I, I'm trying to, basically learn how to scratch yourself or soothe your knee to touch your face without using your hands by learning the muscles inside your face. It works. Number four, space. Keep a safe distance. Gone are the days where we can hug each other. So now you have to hold space for that loved one in your heart. Now, perfect love casts out all fear. So instead of scaring someone by hugging them or scaring yourself by hugging them because you're not sure if you should or not, hug them in your heart. Hold space for that special someone and those you love inside of your heart. Chase away that fear. Stay home if you can. This one's tough. Like, most of us don't want to stay home. When you were a kid, hey, go to your room, right? You didn't want to be in your room because you were told to. So really, the only reason you didn't want to go to your room, the place where you had everything you wanted, your video games, your bed, your telephone, all that cool stuff that you really wanted to be with, it was punishment only because you were told to go there. So what you need to do is you need to be told not to stay there so that you will go there, right? So, hey, don't stay in your home. Really, no, really, stay in your home. It's, it's the best thing for you, stay in your home. But don't stay in your home. Stay in your home. Keep others safe. So there you have it. Those are five things you can do to take care of yourself and those that you love. Wash your hands thoroughly and really Wash everything thoroughly. You, you, just, you just should, but make sure you're hydrated. Two, <coughs> be cool when you cough. Three, don't touch your face with your hands. Four, hug others in your heart, only in your heart. Hold them there. Keep them safe. Chase your fear away. And five, don't stay home, but stay home. But don't stay home. You stay out of that house that has that refrigerator and that TV and that couch and that computer and those smartphones and all those cool things that you like to occupy your time with. 
You stay out of there. All right, guys, so listen, keep your head up. This will pass, and while it does and while you're waiting on it, do things that make you smile. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. We'll see you soon.